The following podcast has been brought to you by Audible.com. Sign up now using the URL audibletrial.com forward slash TTV to get a free audiobook of your choosing. We recommend Brick by Brick, how Lego rewrote the rules of innovation and conquered the global toy industry. You may recognize this as one of the sources we use in our show, Bionicle Autopsy. Remember, that's audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. Enjoy the show. Five, four, three, two, one, sink. Hey, everybody. I'm Var. I'm LJ. I'm Kahi. And this is TTV Talks. Ooh, didn't even script the intro that time. That was, <laughs> I, I was, that was straight say, really good. It kind of sounded like there was a smidge bit of, of, of delay. But of delay? Yeah, yeah. Like, is I, I'm far. Just for a moment. Just a, a bit of hesitation. Mm, you can go screw yourself, dude. <laughs> uh, I, I thought I there was no hesitation. I was I went straight into Bar, it. Bar was all commitment. He was like, "Yeah, take this." I, I was all like, "Let's just do this." We I didn't even give anyone time to decide who's going to lead this one. I was just like, "Nope, just let's just yeah, get it I done." Noticed. You kind of just shoved everyone out of the way. You cut in line. Listen, if we if we end up taking so long waiting for people to actually show up on the times that are given, I we don't have any time to just waste waiting around figuring out who's going to do stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, let's face it, man. This, it's six o'clock. We're supposed to be here by five thirty, and that's a, yeah. That we're thirty minutes late. Filming. That is a very good point. And this takes like thirty to to, to forty minutes, sometimes to an hour to record. So it's like mm-hmm. if we're not here on time, we're delayed quite a lot. Yeah, that reminds me of some something someone said in regards to time. You only have so much time to give to people. So if like if you invite some of your friends over. And you say, be here by a certain time. They arrive like an hour late. You got five more minutes to spare. Kick them out after five minutes. It, I mean, I, is that why you don't have any friends? Yeah, it, was, it seems kind of mean. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I don't know if I'd do that. I, I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, like, when it comes to parties, I do not show up when people say, the party starts. I I, 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 I let the party uh, go on for a bit before I arrive. Right. I don't want to be that guy who arrives I don't want to, well, super listen, early. If, you're, if you like, are the one person I have there, small talk with the one other guy there. Right. Exactly. <laughs> like, just, you know, like if I go to my friend's house and you know if it's it's a friend, it's a friend of mine, but we're just not like one on some friends. You're not one on one friends with. You know, some friends you love hanging out with in the group, and just when you sit down, one it's not like you don't want to be there. It's just a little awkward because you're so used to having you know multiple things right on top of each other. And I've had friends where I, I am like one on one friends with them, but I'm used to seeing them in a group setting. Right. I, so I feel like when a lot like, of us here are like that. Are we? Oh yeah. no! Yeah no! Yeah you're oh, right. No you're, you're right. totally you're right. Absolutely right. Listen, I I I I'll be in a call with Tahi, <laughs> and it's just me and him, and I'm like, uh, yeah. So what do we talk? About? <laughs> just say, won't same say thing anything. with you and me, Var. Like we're both in a call. It's like, well, we aren't working on anything, so there's nothing to discuss. Yeah, it's, right. it's, it's a very awkward call. We're just kind of sitting yeah. there, and I'll be like, me and Ben. So, uh, have thing. you heard about that uh that new uh news thing? <laughs> and I'll be like, yeah. I'll be like, nope. <laughs> And I'll do I'll, I'll, I'll do a link it and I'll click on it. I'll be like, huh? Yeah, cool. But I mean, I, <laughs> yeah, mostly, it didn't always just, used to yeah. be that way either. Because back in the day, Var, you and I would hang out all the time, just working on things. Well, yeah, I guess it's true. I remember we, there was like one night we were all like up to like mm-hmm. very very late working on the island of Mata Nui for Biocraft. Yeah, a much right, smaller th- version. That's though. like a. That's the thing. We were both working on something though. I feel like a lot of the times, if I'm on like a one on one call, one of you guys. This is it. Click. Click. <laughs> type, 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 Click. Well, see, that, that, that's, that's it. That's all we hear. That's it. It's, that's the one thing about our group dynamic is because we all, like, talk on computers. Like, that's how we interact with each other. And the best part about that is when we're in a group and we're all kind of talking on a Skype call, we can choose when we want to interact on the group. <laughs> Yeah, because like, right. we, like you have that conversation kind of going on in the background while you're also browsing the internet. I'm so used to multitasking. Like here, I do sometimes do that with real people, like in real life, and like, <laughs> and it's like, like, I, they, like I've been confronted sometimes. I'm like, all right, you know, like I know you don't mean this, but it's actually like super rude. And I'm like, I'm not used to you not like being able to see me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I look like I'm not paying attention to you. I am. That's gonna be I'm, the weirdest I'm, I'm thing when it. we 
when we actually get like a studio or something. Oh, yeah. and we're all in the same place. Oh it, man, can you imagine? It'll be very together? hard to adapt to. How is that going to be like? Whenever I'm like, all right, I got to work on this. I literally I exit the call so I can tune you all out. I don't know how oh it's going to be goodness. like. Have we're all in the that. studio and be like, all right, well, I got to go work on this. God. So, uh, so uh, yeah, <laughs> if we actually manage to get like a place where we're all at, I'm going to be the most harassive boss. Oh, you're possible. gonna be. Are you gonna be one of those guys? I'm gonna troll. Every, I'll, I'll be like, I'll, I'll hop on someone's desk and be like, so what you working on? Is I'm, it done I'm yet? Be you got sitting that thing in a right corner there? doing recent reviews. You're going to put your foot in the middle of the camera. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, I will prank. I will basically do everything that will halt production and not help the company whatsoever. You're going to be, be a job. human cat. Basically. Oh basically. my gosh. I'll knock over the, the laptop and like sleep on your keyboard. Oh, boy. We know what we did to the last human cat that was here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like to talk about that. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Listen, it, we'll save that for TV talk crap. It yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> Actually, so that that's definitely a thing we we need to do. I was like uh, brainstorming before this recording, um, saying like we should do like a live stream for that, where um we like we're all on the call and we kind of roast each other, but the person who is getting roast has to leave the call so they can't defend themselves, but they can still hear us on the live stream and see all the live reactions. <laughs> from the fans and everything, but they can't defend themselves. <laughs> until, I think afterwards, that sounds, right? until afterwards, right? Until afterwards. Yeah, like, I, we can maybe give them some time to defend themselves afterwards. I mean, like, but because I'm assuming, like, if you roast me and I come back, we're like, no, we're going to roast Meso. I'm going to spend part of it being like, okay, well, while Meso's leaving, you guys are yeah, off base about black, 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 black. <laughs> oh, You're going to well, spend time on yourself first. Yeah, the right. The issue, we, can, we can't spend too, well, yeah, see, I feel like if we spend too much time trying to defend ourselves, though, we'll waste a lot. Like, it'll be a... a Hyper long. Right. No, okay. TV you will talks. get. You will get one minute to defend yourself. As yeah. You get, one we'll minute. Start that sounds good. And you get one minute, it's or like maybe two an minutes. Opening you know. and closing statement. Yeah. Opening and closing statements. All right. First off, you know. Yeah. It, it can be like uh maybe it can be like a sixty minute TTV talks where like everybody right. gets ten minutes to uh to get roasted and then a single minute. So it'll be like seventy minutes actually. Yeah. Oh, we we have I mean, it'll be on. a special event, so we can make it. Yeah, as long it'll as be a special event. You know. People will yeah. be on, and yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I think that that sounds fine. That'll be pretty fun. Man, you know, actually, that opening and closing statement thing, at the beginning, we all say what we think about each other. It's like, oh, man, Var, you're such a great boss. You give me the, <laughs> just such great confidence It's TTV and motivation. talks crap, not TTV compliments. We don't compliment well, I mean, this job. At the very end, it's like, Var, we're going to have words after this. You know, I think that's something that, prospective TTV employees, people who are listening to us and they're like, one day I want to work for TTV. I think that's something that really has to be like said that if anyone ever like imagines themselves in a TTV setting, they should be prepared to get crapped on every day. <laughs> you just, you just made All fun of them. We are like the meanest out. group <laughs> ever. We really are. Ever. All we do is insult each other. I don't think we ever compliment each other. Ever. Basically, on anything. Ever. <laughs> like, you could spend all day working on, like, uh, recap reviews or something, LJ, and just stockpile episodes and episodes, yep. Yep. and you'll get it up, and then the first thing, like, your first re uh, reaction from one of us will be Meso being like, hey, it's a shame you couldn't get it up all before, or something like that, and <laughs> yeah. just, like, trolling you. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's never a compliment. I do. I, I'm for, like... Uh, when you guys had to postpone, not postpone, you had to like stretch out Makuta Fest for an extra hour. Uh, I got like, oh that, I, I did not hear the end of that for about two months. Even though. Two months? You didn't hear the end of it until next year. <laughs> until until next we held Makuta, Makuta Fest. Fest the exact <laughs> Which was, which but, is very justified, by the way. I'm not saying it was justified. I said up to that point, I had literally not slept since that. I'd worked the entire night and into that day to get it up. I only took a break <laughs> for. Two hours, no, one hour and a half to go to church, and that's because I felt that like, God would be would kill me with lightning. If I <laughs> All right, here, TTV before. before I gotta church. say, Kai, scheduling anything on a Sunday pretty much just it, it takes you out of the picture. Yeah, no, you, we, we can't do anything, anything takes on a Sunday. Everybody out of the picture. I don't know what it is about Sunday, but no one is ever on it's on because Sunday. It's a day of rest, man. Everyone's resting. <laughs> My day of rest is Wednesday. I don't like. I don't know. It's Sunday. Like I'm on Sunday. I'm on all day Sunday. I've got nothing to do Sunday, but no one is on. 
I don't know what Meso does. See, no Why one is knows Meso what Meso on? does. Okay, let's talk crap about Meso again. Can we talk crap about Meso again? <laughs> what, Man, you're what jumping the gun. What does Meso do again? Like, is he, what does he do on Sundays? He's not, I mean, he's okay. Uh, let me tell you my schedule for Sundays. I mean, I already kind of know your schedule. Like, you've got, like, the church stuff. Yeah, church, I, wake up more to, I, I wake up at, like, 8.30, then I go to church at 9.00. And then I'm at church until around 12 or 1, depending on, you know, how long I stay. And then usually I'm out for lunch. I either go to lunch with another family from church or yeah, a bunch of my friends go to lunch. lunch. Right. And then after lunch, uh, I go and return here. Right now we, like, we go back and we sometimes we watch football or, you know, we chill out. And then in the evening, there's night church, which starts at 6 and ends at 8. And then after night church is game night where we just play video games. Uh, as a group, so like Sunday is our entire day of rest, but that also sounds like such a nightmare. Thing. And I like, cannot... we, just, we have like we just you know we go and I, I, it's different friends in and out, but I could not spend that much time not in my room. Oh my god, is that why you make Bionicle videos? Yeah, it is. <laughs> like I, I need I need some break somewhere on my day where I'm just at home doing nothing. My break for is at my least week, an hour. Ugh. But no, it's like yeah, Sunday is weird. I I don't know what everyone does. I don't know what Messer does. I don't I I I don't know what you do either, LJ. I don't know why you're not there Sunday. Uh, it's yeah, Sunday, I mean. I'm I'm around on Sunday. Really? Because it doesn't seem like you're. I, I I see. That's another thing. That's another issue with our group, though. Is that like we we need the, someone to start things. That's the otherwise thing. we yeah. just sit there and do nothing. And the majority of the time, that someone is Messo. Whenever yeah, there's a call, it used to be you. Yeah, I know. For the longest time, I not only started the call, but I hosted the call. But then everyone realized, LJ, your internet is a giant turd. We don't yeah, want it wasn't you a good idea calls anymore. It was terrible. It was an awful, awful experience. Horrible. Yeah. With that said, though, your internet's better now. So it is. I, it's a lot better. You could theoretically do it. But I, I used to do it from time to time. The reason I stopped like starting stuff, it's exactly what we were talking about beforehand. For the because parties. If I have to start something, that <laughs> yep. means I have to be in a one on one conversation with somebody until a third <laughs> yeah. person shows up. Right. And yeah. that's that, so that's why awkward. I don't do it too. That's why I don't do it. So yeah. it's like hey, the, the, you it's guys like ever the been way in the one call a viper? Like I have. Plenty I have time. Yeah. It's like you know, it's like it's for both. Like, should we? Just, we're trying to come up with stuff to say, and sometimes okay. It's well, like the thing with Viper that annoys me is that Viper feels the need to have a conversation. <laughs> when I'm in a call and I'm with just one on one person, I don't care if we're actually having a conversation or not, or how awkward it is. I just do my own thing. I don't try to force a conversation if one's not starting. Viper. <laughs> <laughs> always tries to force a conversation. She's like, I cannot sit here in this silent call. I need to find something to talk about. And I can't do that. I can't handle Viper. I'm like, okay, listen, Viper. I don't want to talk about what you want to talk about. Leave me alone. Here's the thing with Viper. And Viper, I know you're going to listen to this. You're a fantastic person. We're so lucky to have you as part of no, the company. No, you're not. I hate you. Mm. See, that, that, wow. that, there you, you go. Are. Like, yes, Whenever we no, do compliment right. someone, we have to balance it out with an insult. Yeah. <laughs> we have to balance Vi- it out. Viper, here's the dealio. <laughs> We're not having a conversation. I'm I'm your therapist and I'm listening to you talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's totally how our it. conversation. That's still- totally it. That's how it is. To- <laughs> That's how it always is. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I really think Zach Tan's green should be a brighter shade. Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel? No, yeah. it's always like my friend has some issue or problem that she needs to talk through, and I'm just like, yep. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm always like, all right. Let's... I'm like literally reading an article as she's talking. You haven't listened <laughs> okay, to a single word she said. <laughs> sometimes people like to, like, I like to rant about stuff. And ranting is different from, like, talking. Ta- like, non-stop. yeah, because I'm I'm more of like, I need something to yell at. And it doesn't really matter if you're listening or not. I just want to, like, say it, you know? The difference is you don't expect a response. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> But no, what, 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 what I do want to um mention though, like we kind of went off tangent. By the way, Vin is now in the chat, who was late to the scheduled uh, yeah, recording. Okay, yeah, let's, let's go back that to this. We made. Hey, Vin. Suddenly, you're, you're you're here in the chat. Our target is in our sights. He says, "Hey, oh, I caught him. He did fall asleep. Good job, Var. Um, but no, 
when when it comes to this group and when we start conversations, <laughs> we always start conversations really late at night for whatever stupid reason. Okay, why it's, do we do that? It's I don't. Because, it's, uh, well, we know why. We oh, know yeah. why because no one starts the call. <laughs> Everyone's too afraid to start the call because we're all afraid of that party syndrome where, like, <laughs> I don't want to be the guy to start the call and then just be in a con- like stuck in a conversation with Meso for not even Meso because Meso's never on. Screw that. Never mind. Yeah, I don't want to be stuck in a conversation with LJ. Okay, you know what? For just like what? let's for, let's, let's for make two a pact. hours <laughs> waiting for a third person to show up so we can actually do something. Let's make a pact. From now on, all right, we'll last. start a call. We're going to start a call early, all right? And when we, we enter the call, we're going to say, hey, we're going to meet our mics until a third person shows up. <laughs> Whoa. So we're just, the call's just going to be up so people know that somebody were here. And then the third person comes, then we'll all unmeet and be like, oh, hey, <laughs> See, how's it going? I, I think <laughs> I, I'm the only person here who's not afraid of the party syndrome because oftentimes I'll start a call. I'm not one- afraid of it. I would just rather not be wasting <laughs> yeah. my time, like sitting there not doing anything when I could be like playing Sometimes a game or watching I a TV show. show. Like, fair point. I completely yeah. understand, but I don't start calls out of the fear of one of you three, Ven Var or Kahi, yelling about why are you starting a call? No one's gonna be here. We're not gonna join. Well. I don't think I'd yell at you for starting a call. I just wouldn't join the call. One thing True. that I that I'm like that I am afraid of though, and I get on and I'm like, nope. It's when Kahi starts a call. Oh no! And nobody answers. And Kahi, you do this thing. <laughs> yes. You don't do it that much anymore, but you've done it before. Where like you've got your your iPhone set up to a different account. Right. You'll start a call. No one will answer, so Kahi will answer with his iPhone account, <laughs> so that it's just a call this perpetually was, online back with just Kahi. When we have the conversation about, like, people, you know, we want a call set up, and we, we kind of just wish that we just had a call going all the way around, and then you would just know when people are on. So, back then, in order to, if, as part of his experiment to see how it would work, I would start a call, and I'd keep it up. With the uh, with like my iPhone account and just you know and I do that I used to just do that for recording time so whenever like sometimes we all supposed to be here at eleven thirty and no one's here so I just start that makes it. sense when, we're, so, when we need to record something right. that makes sense and I tried to do it with normal calls too and it didn't work out so I stopped it because see, the, party the thing syndrome with normal yeah more see and more. the thing with normal calls is like yeah that just really amps up that party syndrome to where it's like. Now, not even <laughs> like I'm expecting when, right. when there's a call up, I'm expecting to join a call with multiple people. Mm-hmm. So I've already got that idea. And then I go on and I just see Kahi there. No, and I'm like, <laughs> I just like fair instantly enough. nope and just hang up on the call. <laughs> Another thing I do, I also know that like there's several people in TTV that go well with certain people like LJ and Meso. If they're in the call together, that's mm-hmm. usually a fun call, right? I'll right, join that right, call right, and right. I'll stick around. Yeah. Yeah. If I hop into a call and it's just LJ and Viper, oh my god. I instantly nope. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna no, join that no. call. You I don't know. <laughs> See, but I, I will do it. A- I'll do it. I will totally be in that call. I don't do like, it. I'm like, nope. I'll, I'll, hey, I'll, so, uh, I'll wait for someone else to how, show. How about how about this politics thing that's going on? And then me and LJ will like tag team against Viper. Who well, is, yeah, uh, that then I will join because it's hilarious <laughs> seeing so... Viper get teamed up against. And I like politically I agree more with <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. That was the really fu- funny. That was really funny because, like, politically, I disagree with things with LJ and Kahi, but I do like align with Viper a bit more. Right. But Viper is very uh, not good at arguing. <laughs> 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 so mm. if if they're having like a political debate, I will hop in and just troll the conversation. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, that, it's it's really good. Oh, uh, so another thing I like to do is like enter a call and then start playing devil's advocate on both sides and have both people get annoyed. Oh <laughs> so well, see, that, that's kind of what I was doing, except I was taking no sides and was literally just saying the most controversial thing I could possibly say. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I that's what I, that. I was <laughs> doing to incite an argument between Viper and Kahi. I was just saying things like, okay, subject matter. And then they just start going at it like a bunch of dogs. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it it's, it's, it's pretty great. It's pretty great. Like, I wouldn't get into the debate because, you know, I just remove myself from that for the entertainment purpose. But it's so funny. Also, I don't know if either of you two been in a call with Meso and Viper. Mm, yes. Uh, yes. I feel like and I have usually been, but... it, it feels very, uh, 
very what call he was or one of you were describing where it's just like viper talking and messed up being like uh-huh yeah it's not uh-huh. only that but sometimes you join the call you're in with both of them and you're unlucky enough to behold 2006 nostalgia talk oh, <laughs> oh no God, dang, no, fine. no no it's no no I, i've never this, been there for that i like that. i like 2006 it's one of my favorite like, years. No, thankfully I, i've been able to avoid that yeah I i've, I've, I've been never call, really like, been in I know what the happens, it. though, because then they start doing their stupid, like, inside jokes where Viper's posting, like, dumb 2006 costumes and Meso's lolling about <laughs> right. it, where they're like, yeah, they're, I know. they're talking they about the book stuff. They, they also and, post, and then, like, like, Stuart back... Sager panels from the comic, and like, oh. Yeah, and they start laughing at it, and I'm like, yeah. why are you, what, it, what is well, funny? Yeah, well, absolutely good? nuts. And, and you know what? <laughs> you know, you see that, and they're laughing about it, they're like, oh, do you remember when I posted this? You know <laughs> they have, like, backdoors conversations where they just talk about 06 all the time, and when you're exposed to it, it's like, I don't mind 06. I've said this repeatedly. I don't mind the year 2006 regarding Bionicle, but oh my goodness, the fans. You know, it's interesting you bring it back, like, backwards conversations where, like, they have, like, a PC conversation. Because I've got this funny thing that I do hmm. that I uh, that I realize is silly of me. Uh-oh. Okay. But I always get very jealous <laughs> when I hear that there's, like, a PC conversation I'm not in. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Even when okay. I know that if I was in it, I would never talk in <laughs> right. it. What you know? I'm gonna I'm gonna say something like it. It's it's kind of world politics, but it's like, what if Edward Snowden thought the same thing? Does no one get that joke? No, I I, I mean I I get the reference, but like I mean uh, I don't <laughs> like it would be. It would be what if the NSA had that thing? the person who started the NSA what if he had that that would make a funnier joke right because the reason why the NSA starts is because he wants to be on every private conversation because he's a, he's jealous of all these private cases so he creates this organization to listen into okay, all the private okay. conversations see that's it's it's innately funny but anyway <laughs> anyhow <laughs> like, like like for for instance i know yeah, like lj LJ, you know, LJ you, stupid jokes these, oh, sorry, go on. <laughs> okay like, lj you you and meso had like that one piece conversation where you'd go and just like watch one piece <laughs> yes. Or, like yes we right, did. Right, i'm right. assuming you also have a chat where like you and kahi and meso watch ninjago for the ninjago coverages we do yeah you do yeah yeah but I have that's... absolutely no desire to be in either of these conversations because I will never join a call on it. I will never talk in the chat. And if anything, it's already going to clutter up my already cluttered <laughs> chat list. But for whatever reason, when I hear like there's no call in the Pandemic Panda chat, <laughs> but there is a call there, yeah. I'm incredibly angry. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's exactly I'm like, why am why... I not included, guys? <laughs> that's exactly whenever you guys, why we whenever make Messi them and too. come back and they're recording Vinog, it's also like... It's like, I mean, of course I'm not going to be in that. I don't, I don't watch Vinog on a regular basis, so I'm not going to just be in the call and hear no, them. It's just like, oh, Vinog. you guys are uh, yeah. hanging out with us. Like, yeah, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I see how it is. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't even want to do it. I just am mad that I'm not, a, I don't get to reject doing it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Basically, that's it. Like, like, I'm mad that I wasn't even given the offer. Right. It's like, I don't, I, I don't want anything to do with this. But I want to be able to say, no, I don't want to do it, any it's of like, me- Meso and <laughs> I also, on my terms. Me- Meso and I still also do that for, say, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, you know, from now you on... You guys have an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. chat? Wait, what the heck? okay, well, wait no, a no, second. No, 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 wait a minute, that's, that's something that we can that's actually that, do! Yeah, that, I watch that, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that's just a PC conversation we don't know. You have a PC conversation without us about something we could actually contribute to. I mean, are you are you up to date on Agents of Shield? I'm getting up I, to date. Then stop whining. I'm in the middle. Actually, of, I don't know. It was the, the did season three. three actually come out? Because I haven't started it. If it has. Yeah, no, it has come out for a while. It's been out for, for a bit. Okay, yeah, the no, I'm not up to date. The finale is coming out. Where like something big is supposed to happen. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, I am not up to date actually. Okay. See, to be honest, I completely forgot all about Agents of Shield. Because but it would have been nice if I was added to the chat. Oh, yeah. maybe I then you would it. know that the season three was going on. I mean, it's not like you guys ever mentioned that there was a chat that I could have been on. <laughs> it's just a personal conversation. It's not like anyone else is there. No one ever sends me PC messages. I'll send you send a PC message bar. No, I don't want you to send me a PC message. See? Lol, See, there you go. Gay. I send. was... I was... What? <laughs> go on. Anyway, I was given the... <laughs> LJ just sent me a PC message that says, hey, Var. <laughs> <laughs> go, I'm going to reply with a heart. 
It's, Actually, no. I'm going to reply with a kissy face. It's not going to be. Either. Oh my god, it's getting serious in here. You're getting steamy. Good <laughs> oh boy. No. Scandalous workplace. <laughs> See, we need a TTV tabloid. Like seriously. Oh, uh, we need a HR meeting about sexual harassment. Is what we need. You can't be sending kissy faces, Var. You're the president of our company. Oh yeah, you're right, huh? How does that work? How do bosses get in relationships with? Never mind. <laughs> How do you think it works? Just like any other relationship. <laughs> I'm sorry, LJ. I was eyeballing that, uh, oh, that, that, no. that period at the end of VAR. I knew you wanted to make a mask for me. I didn't know why. Now I have your address, LJ. <laughs> JK, I've had your address. <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't need the mask to get your address. <laughs> Back to the NSA. <laughs> I think we actually do need sexual harassment like what? policies what? for our company. What? We do. It's we, gonna, we it's gonna be a thing, man. It's gonna be a thing. Think about it. The bigger we get, the the worse it's gonna get. I mean, listen, we already have creep like fans that are kind of iffy around Viper. Imagine one of those fans happened to get through our screening process, get hired. Imagine all those fans be being of. creepy about me. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. And Takuma, man, we'll get to all the stuff they're saying about Takuma. Meso. All the stuff they're saying about poor Meso. Yeah, Meso is getting, a lot, getting a lot of comments. Yeah, like... there, there was a comment recently on Vessels like, why is everyone in TTV so attractive? Listen, you haven't seen Meso in person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, Meso's fine, but he did have a quite the... the... <laughs> He had a the he gross had a int- facial hair when we saw. <laughs> he had a he had an interesting um he had an interesting facial tone facial um <laughs> I, I, facial I was fashion. very happy, Kahi. I was very happy when you were like, okay, listen, Meso, as your friend, I cannot allow you to have that. Because I was like, like, so like, should I tell him? <laughs> <Yeah. or? laughs> I'm like, as your friend, I cannot allow you to go out in public looking like that. If I had a child, I would take him across the street away from you. In fact, I'm not quite sure that I don't need an adult with me right now. (laughs) I am an adult, and I feel like I need an adult. (laughs) Meanwhile, Var, you have like that bicycle strap thing going on. Oh, yeah, the bicycle strap thing? The bicycle strap is okay. It doesn't make him look like... Like, like, you know, like someone you would find... Listen, Ven was giving me so many compliments about it that I just have to keep it. Yeah, Ven was, like, kissing your toes, and it's weird. Ven always kisses my toes. Uh, uh, <laughs> speaking of Ven, though, and speaking of facial hair, he at one point had really long hair and a goatee. Dude, Dude I, like like a very... I like that. I thought it was an iconic look for Ven. <laughs> I, I thought Ven looked very scary. He was a. It looked like he well, just he came look, out of looked, a band rehearsal. He didn't look yeah, like he, he looked so like scary, a scary he like. He looked like a little. Yeah. Well, he looked. He looked like he would be used by the drug cartel to like <laughs> have a. <laughs> well, I, mean, I don't know. Just. <laughs> yeah, you're he, not he, he looked like he was picked up off the streets, and that uh, if you really needed some cocaine, he was your man. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> he, he looks like he should be hiding from Donald Trump. Is what you're trying to say? <laughs> Basically, okay. it took me a second. Now, now he's looking better. He looks like he looks like a movie star now. Yeah, With a, he's got a mole. The, he's got the thing. He also maybe 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 not a movie star. Maybe like a TV star. Ooh, <laughs> oh, wow. Dang. Actually, I'm I'm to be kidding, fair, man. TV stars actually can there. look. More attractive than movie stars. Oh yeah, dude. Most of the like the Arrow, really attractive like, people on TV. I I, n- I noticed this on Arrow, though with uh, the Green Arrow and whatever dude who plays it. Um, is uh, that the first episode? Stephen I saw, Armel. Yeah, Stephen Armel. The the first episode I saw, I was literally like, wow, everybody in this show is really attractive. This is such an unrealistic show. Right. <laughs> like literally every person <laughs> in the main cast was like attractive to a you stupid know what's degree. Not like that. Netflix Marvel shows. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. You know who's the me- like everybody's pretty average in Daredevil and uh, like every everybody's average in Daredevil. Even like Karen is pretty like average. Yeah, she's, she's pretty she's attractive, but she's like average attractive. And the same thing in Jessica Jones, except for freaking Luke Cage. Yeah, Luke Cage is basically <laughs> the only one who's Luke like Cage. <laughs> Luke Cage's pecs, man. Those things are impressive. I, I swear. I was around when you and Ven Sink viewed the first episode of Jessica Jones. Oh, you go. And we watched all like you three, guys are talking episodes. about was which peck you guys were going to take. Where I was like, like oh. you were going to take one of them, <laughs> Ven was going to take the other. 
and you guys are just gonna like grapple this on idea. as Luke Cage Ben had this about. idea for, for his shirt where like it's like Luke Cage's specs and then like there's an Asian hand in one this like Latino hand in the other <laughs> He's, we, were, we were like we were talking long ago about that. Luke Cage is like, I don't know why he's going with Jessica Jones. He could do way better. Oh, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> dude, dude, Jessica Jones is. I mean, she's not bad. She's just like okay. I thought, <laughs> nah, yeah, she looks fine. Spart- Spartan Locke, man, he's like yeah. Spartan Locke could basically get anybody he wanted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. I don't know. But no, yeah, you're right because like even even in Jessica Jones, like most of the characters aren't aren't that attractive. Ben says in the chat, "I'm locked in his cage." Wow, <laughs> cage is male bay. <laughs> he's my he's male bay. <laughs> <laughs> I think if Ben ever meets the actor, he's just gonna break down. You know, one thing that you know, no, uh, never mind. I'll save it for the Jessica Jones TTV talks. We'll do that okay, next yeah, week, right, I guess. We'll which is gonna that. happen? Yeah, it, I, I was about to complain happened. about something, but I'll, yeah, I'll save it. Jessica, <laughs> Jessica, <laughs> Jessica, uh, no, no, Jessica, <laughs> no, <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> I love uh, that slow motion thing <laughs> where he's like yelling at her. <laughs> you should watch the show, Elder. I will. <laughs> no, you're missing Actually, out. Actually, no, we're going to make a very <laughs> private, personal chat with just me and Kai <laughs> yeah, no. and exclude you from it until you <laughs> oh, watch the show. How it is. Just me, me, Var, and Ven. That's it. No, not even Ven. Ven can okay. screw himself. He, he was late to TTV Talks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's going to be the two of you in your PC chat, and one of you guys is going to post dot, dot, dot. I always feel so, so betrayed. I'm, like, I'm not going to lie. I feel betrayed <laughs> every time. <laughs> it's a PC <laughs> chat without me. Which is funny because like we all have like this used to be a thing for a while that we don't really do anymore. Oh, we used I remember this. I know what you're gonna take. <laughs> yeah, we we used to have just we we had a chat for everybody, but the thing was we had a chat where we would complain about a certain person. Right. So we'd make we'd all make a chat where we would just gather without that person and just talk crap about. <laughs> We're in a pandemic chat without LJ and Alina. Yeah, we had a pandemic chat oh. without LJ and Alina. I know we had a pandemic chat without Meso. We, we, we had one. We, we had still one without have envy. A pandemic chat without you, Kahi. It's just not active. Yeah, it's not active. We had one without Mange. Um, yeah. I think the one that was used the most was definitely the one without LJ, though. Yeah. Yep. We had yep. a lot to complain no, about LJ. Well, and yep. we also had a lot to complain about Alina, and that was like tied into. Because well, that was tied like, into LJ. That's why it was yeah, without exactly. both of them. <laughs> That's and, why and we're then complaining she, she about it. She left, him. and now I'm sure that chat's, you know, dead, right? Yeah. Now, now that Alina's gone, we have no. Actually, no. That's not true. We've been using the chat that's every single true. day. We've, we've used it for some stuff, but not a lot anymore. We're, we're like we're adults now. We can like we just confront each other. Do we though? About it. No, we don't. Do we? <laughs> I mean, we do confront each other. Actually, you're not, <laughs> well, you're not okay, wrong. You're like, it's just not a, a pro- appropriate nah, times. Not. Nah. <laughs> oh, look. we did have a thing with like we have a we had a chat like for. The origin, the OG members of Pandemic. Okay, yeah, we do have that. Because for our, like, Machinima series, and then that became, like, it basically became the one to fought Viper for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and everything but name. Oh, it was we the, did have a chat Pandemic without Viper, Viper for a while there. Yeah. I forgot about that. It's funny how much, like, Viper is kind of just, like, mellowed into the group, though. Like, when we originally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, because yeah, when we originally hired her, we were like, yeah, she doesn't really fit in just yet. We'll give it time. Yeah, but, but she was the but no, lucky we, we could one. tell she would. Because yeah. we, we were talking so much earlier about talking so much stuff about everyone else here. We were really hoping to get somebody in this group that could tolerate it. And Viper, to a degree, does. Yeah. The Viper, yeah, Viper was like, you know, there is some, I mean, there were hiccups of everybody in the first time. But Viper has very much, you know. I think it took Viper the least amount of time to to fit into the group and find her place into the group. Right. Out of everybody I think it took here. her about a year. It took her about a year, but like that, I mean, it usually takes everybody like at least like two. So I, honestly, I would say it took us, uh, the the OG members, like four years before we were all really like accustomed right. to each other and were able to tolerate certain aspects. Like I know, like for example, like me and LJ fought all the time back when we first yep. met. All like we did not get along at all. Same with Meso. Actually, mm-hmm. you and Meso didn't get along either. That was possibly because him back then is very similar to him now. The first interaction I had with Meso was him sending me a file, and it's like, hey, LJ, check out this really cool game. <laughs> I'm in the middle of downloading it, and this was when I was much younger and super paranoid about things. Middle of downloading it, he says, LOL, it's a virus. 
flip. So there out. are several things about that. I love that that actually made you mad because that's so stupid. That is such an overreaction. <laughs> Because you could just freaking cancel the download. <laughs> I know. And or I even if you download it, just delete it and not open it. <laughs> Second, I can't believe you actually believed that. Third, I can't believe you believed that Meso, of all people, knew how to give people a virus. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's the thing, though. It was the first day I knew him. I knew Meso doesn't even know what a virus him. is. I know he doesn't know what a virus is. Meso's like, Meso's the second most computer illiterate person here. Viper's the first. Viper's, Viper's absolutely the first. <laughs> the first. That was one of the things we complained that was, about. That was the things we were complaining yeah, about. Yeah, like we she, like, she oh, came into like the, the group not ever touching a computer like ever. She was she was <laughs> grown up on oh, iPads. Had a Mac. And she, she, ha- she had a Mac. No, she didn't. She didn't a, even that, have a Mac. She had yeah, an no. iPad. Oh, she, no, she, she did. She, yeah, she had, we had an we had Apple got that product, but yeah, not a Yeah, she had an iPad. The only thing she had was a phone and an iPad. And she didn't even get that iPad until that Christmas. So the yeah. only thing she oh, had man. was a phone. So yeah, she was completely computer illiterate. It's honestly like a surprise we actually hired her. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> no, it's not. So glad we did. No, right? it's not. We're, we're very. Oh no, glad I'm we absolutely did. We love you, Viper. Because like we were able to train. Viper, like, you're one of the most her. valuable members on our on our team. <laughs> we trained her. Yeah, we were able to train her like a like a dog. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but no, yeah, when we first hired her, yeah, she was completely illiterate. I mean, let's let's face it, though, right? What did Viper have to compete with? I'll, considering our track record, Viper is heads and tails above. Basically, the only thing you needed to be a success was to not be a jerk and not... Not have, want to kill people. Yeah, not want to kill people. That was a thing. And also stick around. And also, yeah, also stick around. <clears throat> really, that's yeah. it. And I'll, I'll Put up with our crap. Skin. Put up with us being jerks to each other all the time. And being very demanding, and you're good. Yeah, and, and don't get too comfortable quickly. Like, take it slow. That's another thing that... Well, yeah, and a- yes and absolutely. no. Absolutely. We there, once had a guy... There, no, there's a middle ground. There's a middle ground. You can be, you can get comfortable with certain things, but don't spill your life the first day when you join the group. I, I'm not even just thinking, like, <clears throat> your life story or anything, but that's a good point. No, I, I know who you're thinking was... of. Yeah. Wait, who are you, what are you thinking of? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm thinking we once knew a guy. He wasn't one of ever... Alina's uh, <laughs> hirees oh, that she brought into the group. This boy. guy, he oh, comes boy, into our oh, chat, boy, oh, boy. and he's dragged in the chat. Not my fault, by the way. And, and we're was. all like befriending him or whatnot. And all of a sudden, he's he, Meso at that time, he said, lol, yep, like all the time in responses to things. This guy took that and darn near spammed it for a week. Meso got so furious and getting messed up angry do that? Is i do not, not remember easy that. to do I don't, I don't remember that i know i do know like, i thought one, it was haha uh-huh, yeah he, he did do haha uh-huh, yeah but like i remember yeah. that uh he had a very interesting aspect of his life that he was very comfortable with sharing like <laughs> very like right out the gate <laughs> that yeah, maybe he, if he had built up to that over a time and a year of friendship and good relations maybe it would have been less of a shock uh, nah. but no, well, like no, the first been. day or two. Listen, but like, like the fir- right, yeah, guys, the first listen. day of knowing him, that was something we did not need to <laughs> know. <laughs> listen, I want you guys to trust me. I'm gonna put this out on the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that ruined it. That ruined it so badly. It really. And, it and the, like, the funny thing is, like, the audience is probably thinking of something that's like completely tame compared to what it actually was. Like, yeah, he, yeah, he, okay. he listen, revealed it, and it was like. Are you going to kill me in my sleep? <laughs> was, like this is like it, I don't was, I don't know how to feel like, about this. Yeah, <laughs> we're not. I mean, we're not going to out. We're not going to out. It's just like a whatever you're thinking of. It's probably wrong, and it's probably worse than what you're thinking of. It's probably worse than what you're thinking of. It wasn't just a thing where it was like, oh, you know, I I have a like you know I have this hobby, and and we're just like that's really weird, and we're judging you. And no, this was this was like. Here, okay, here. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. I want to be like, no, I, I'm sure he would have been fine as long as he had just waited a little bit, been good friends with us for a while, and then maybe been scrutinized a little bit after revealing it. But maybe, just maybe, I could get myself... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's I would like to think that, thing but is, man. Though, he, he ousted himself in regard to this aspect so quickly because he wanted us to trust him more. <laughs> 
I didn't work. It backfired completely. <laughs> it, work. it backfired so quickly because it's not. It's a thing that's like I've never once met a person who was like, "Well, he does this," but he's also like, you know, a really <laughs> we are dancing guy. around this so bad. <laughs> we, we are. It's like Kahi. This is something you, me, and Meso agree on one hundred percent, and it's something I have been so. I'm I don't know how to against. phrase it. I just I want to talk about it, but on the other hand, it's going to be like, a lot of backlash. I don't think there's going to be a no, lot. I don't of think there's going to be a lot of backlash. I, I don't think, think there's going to be a lot of backlash at all. I honestly all. think universally the audience would be like, okay, that's really weird. But I Actu- don't want to go into I details regardless. There will not only be backlash from the certain individuals, but there will be backlash from sympathizers. We get that a lot, by the way. We, uh, we, we did get that with the Solek comments. thing, where that was weird. We're like. We got comments by people who like we just wanted people to be able to make those comments. Not people who make so like comments and jokes and stupid stuff that clog our things. Just people who thought that we should let that happen. I don't know, man. I feel like the majority of the audience would be like, "Okay, yeah, but that is a that weird said, thing yeah, to no. do the first day of meeting uh, somebody." Yeah, yeah, no, oh, definitely. That, yes, and, yes. Yeah, no, you the if yeah if we okay, said it, just you'd be like, "Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll 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 cut it. We'll cut it short." Yeah. <laughs> well, this was an interesting conversation. We're running at the 40-minute mark now, so I think we should probably end. I was having so much fun. Yeah, this was a good one. I was enjoying this was talking a good about one. stuff. Yeah. yeah, this was. What are we going to name this? Um, I, I had a name for it earlier, but I forgot. I mean, we can't call it what we want to call it, No, which yeah, is l- essentially what it is. Just is. Let's just call it um, TTV Talks online friendship i guess or meeting online how about a thanksgiving roast no because it's not really a roast though we were taught we the majority of this conversation it's kind of a roast of like a viper and meso yes but and, like it, all in the context of talking online and being friends online that's though. true yeah all right that, ttb talks about online friendships yeah i think that's the way to way to go at least our that could work friendship. yeah that could work yeah we are all really good friends, though, right? We're, right? we're, we're gonna. I mean, we're gonna. We have a tradition, and we're gonna hold it today, right? Yeah, today. What? When we, where we, uh, everybody, we play Minecraft on Thanksgiving. Oh, are we doing we, that? Yeah. I mean, we, uh, Ven's gonna start a server some that point tonight. Like, we're all gonna yeah, hop yeah. on, and we're gonna just we're gonna mm. have like this short play session where we basically have a Thanksgiving meal in Thanksgiving because we all got into Minecraft around Thanksgiving, like years ago, all right? I I'll and then, try and then to we're gonna be, be for, like be around for I'm that. So, we're gonna Which be like, funny, oh, I'm sorry, it's not Thanksgiving at the time of this recording, but <laughs> well, it will be by the time it comes out. It'll be like Black Friday, right? Very. Uh, yeah, hey. it'll, it'll be it'll be Black Friday when this comes out. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. All right. Well, thank you all for watching this exciting episode of TTV Talks. Be sure to tune in for the channel and stay up to date on all the things TTV. We do want to do a live stream for. Uh, the podcast for sure. Uh, the live stream for TTV Talks was an idea. Hopefully, it, I mean, I, I think it sounds like a fun idea. So uh, I agree. We've ever since we came up with this show, the initial idea was to do. A live yeah, the stream. idea was to always and, make TV Talks a live stream show, so that might be the first foray into it. Right, and it's just it's harder to do because of the way we set up, and sometimes like you know this thing we get scheduling conflicts and yeah. It's hard to do it for every episode, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. see about that. We'll, uh, we'll definitely do a live stream for the podcast. Um, yeah. Right. So if, if you're I'll, interested in knowing when that'll happen, we'll probably post an update on uh, at the boards, boards, if not the front page of our website. Right. Yeah. So do keep an eye on that. It occasionally does get updated. Also, oh. speaking of live events, December 5th, we're going to be having a TTV game night on the Xbox One playing Halo 5 and Halo MCC. That's going to be around 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So... Calculate your time zone and be there for that. Yep. It's a lot of fun. Also, if you uh, don't follow us on the message boards and you're not aware, we did do a follow-up interview with Merlin Mann. That'll be coming out sometime this month, hopefully. So, uh, yes. We look forward to that. Things to things to look forward to. Things to look forward to. Uh, oh, I think some information on our live streams. Uh, and whenever we do a live stream, the release schedule will be the same that it is on our normal YouTube schedule. So, we'll be on Vessel for a week. And, uh, you know, after that week of early access, then you can get it on YouTube. Okay, so yeah, after yeah. The live stream, that's a good point to make. When we when right. we do the recording, the live stream, it will we'll do that recording live, and anyone can access it. You don't need to be a paid subscriber to access the live reco- like the live, uh, recording And it will be it. on YouTube. And it will uh, be on YouTube when we do the live right. thing. However, once the recording is done and it's edited, it's going on Vessel for that week, and then it'll, then it'll go on YouTube a week later. 
Yeah. So if so you, if you, you do go, miss the live stream and you aren't watching us in Vessel with the early access subscription, then yeah, you, you will wait a week in between the recording live and when it's going to be released. But it will be no different than the normal TTV Talks episode, so there's nothing nothing really changes yeah. for you. And, you know, more and, more uh, reason to show up on the live show. That'll be fun. Right. Absolutely. And, uh, and also, to, you know, to subscribe to us on Vessel. It's uh, on Vessel.com slash the TTV channel. Yeah, only $3 for early access. You get to access to all of our videos for for um, a week Not in just advance. our early access videos, everybody's. That, okay, so, that is a thing you know. that we don't advertise enough, but I feel like right. a lot of people we would should, be pretty should. cool with that, is that um, right. when you pay the $3, not only does it help us out, and not only do you get to access all of our videos early access, but you get to access the entire gallery on Vessel. Any content creator that makes videos on Vessel and makes early access videos, you can watch early access. So I know like uh, SourceFed, Rhett and Link, a bunch of big names, Epic Mealtime, they all make videos for Vessel. Cyanide Happiness. Yeah, Cyanide yeah, Happiness. So there's a bunch of people there and you can watch all Jimmy their videos. Fallon. You only have to make that one payment of $3 a month and you get to access all these content creators for, for free. Or not free, early. Yeah. But um, so yeah, that's a very cool thing. So check us out, Vessel.com forward slash TV channel. Accepts PayPal now in case you didn't, you weren't comfortable having a credit card or whatnot. Yep, does accept PayPal. PayPal now, so that's a good thing. Um, and that's really about it. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys next time. I'm Var. I'm LJ. I'm Kahi. And goodbye. <laughs>